important. And then you decide whether you have information of sufficient value that, you know, compared to price and all that, that, that will cause you to act. Legendary investor Warren Buffett is sitting on a $76 billion fortune, but he's spending his money as fast as he makes it. In a new interview, Buffett revealed how he's using inflation to make a ton of cash. The businessman has been routinely spending billions every year on acquisitions. Last year alone, Berkshire spent $16 billion on companies, including Chevron and Liberty Sirius XM. The reason Buffett's buying spree hasn't slowed down is because Berkshire is now basically making money on it the cash flow producing businesses. He likes companies with an investor-friendly management team that pay inflation-fighting dividends, allow repurchase shares, and grow the business organically. Beverage giant Coca-Cola is Berkshire Hathaway's longest-held stock. It was initially purchased in 1988, and Buffett and his investing team have a cost basis around $3.25 a share. Warren Buffett is enjoying an unrealized gain of nearly 1,550%, which has produced $7 billion in past 12-month free cash flow and habitually delivers free cash flow margins above 20%. Coca-Cola continues to enjoy an unmatched brand presence, massive scale efficiencies, and still attractive geographic growth potential, supporting its long-term investment case. The company revenue was $10.5 billion last quarter, up 16% over the year-ago period, largely due to an 8% increase in unit case volume. The dividend yield on Coca-Cola shares is 2.9%. Moody's, credit ratings and analytics company Moody's has also put a pretty penny in the oracle of Omaha's pockets. According to Berkshire Hathaway's annual shareholder letter, Buffett's company has a cost basis on Moody's of just $10.05. Following its split from Dunn & Bradstreet in 2000, Moody's shares have climbed to almost $349. This works out to an unrealized gain of 3,370%. In the past 12 months, Moody's generated free cash flow of about $1.8 billion. Dividends and share repurchases returned $1.2 billion to shareholders in 2021. Chevron Berkshire Hathaway added to its Chevron bet significantly during the first quarter, making the energy stock the conglomerate's fourth biggest equity holding. The investment was worth $25.9 billion at the end of March. The company's first quarter filing Saturday showed a big jump from its value of $4.5 billion at the end of 2021. As energy prices rose in recent months, shares have been hot, but with inflation remaining high, there might be more room to run. Chevron announced in March that it would double its share buyback to $10 billion annually, promising that investors would reap the rewards of high oil prices. What you guys think? Do you agree with Warren Picks? Subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss more videos helping you invest in crypto and stocks. Best of luck, and as always, none of this is financial advice, and you always have to do your own research. Take care.